Why are you meeting tonight to preserve the Oracle Road Scenic Corridor, but completely ignoring the Tangerine Scenic Corridor? Everyone who enters Oro Valley from the Tangerine cor Corridor from I-10, they'll see the beautiful Catalina Mountains, they'll see St. Mark's Church, and then they'll see a massive still building that looks like an aircraft hangar, an industrial warehouse, or a detention center, you choose. Recreational facilities and car storage facilities are not allowed under the R-144 zoning. Oro Valley is allowing developers to build non-conforming buildings by putting living quarters inside the four walls and then calling it a single family dwelling. This is equivalent to me attaching my truck to a Boeing 747 and then saying, hey, wow, look, it's a truck now. These are commercial buildings and or accessory buildings being disguised as single family residences. The public deserves to be made aware that Oro Valley considers car storage facilities and recreational fitness centers <coughs> single family dwellings. This interpretation of zoning code is decimating our property values. It doesn't stop there though, as it will negatively impact the entire Tangerine Scenic Corridor, which Oro Valley's general plan is supposed to protect and preserve. Why was this building not reviewed by the Zoning Commission to evaluate the impact on the Tangerine Scenic Corridor? The town of Oro Valley needs to do the right thing here. It's not too late. The construction at Torrance Community Plaza should be stopped immediately, and the town of Oro Valley needs to properly evaluate the permit approval under the intent of the zoning code, and should consider the permanent impact this property will have on the Tangerine Scenic Corridor. Do you realize the precedence this is setting moving forward? It's not too late. You can still act and preserve the Tangerine cor Corridor and our property values. Thank you. Um, it appears that this uh, allowance uh, is benefiting a single wealthy individual at the, uh, you know, and, and not helping the greater community of, of Oro Valley and, uh, and our neighbors. So that brings into question my, uh, my interpretation is this was poor judgment. Um, the, the integrity of the commission is is, uh, is diminished, and uh, I have to question the character of the folks that made these, these poor decisions. In, in we really think that 144 is a clear violation uh, and a failure of the fiduciary responsibility of Oro Valley and the commission, and uh, we know that some of this was done under your predecessors. We don't know whether this was malfeasance on the part of Oro Valley, and the people that chose to ignore the permitting process uh, and the fiduciary responsibilities with 144 zoning, or whether it was just inaptitude on their part. But we see this as both a breach and a sham. If we go ahead with a class action suit, we will hold a press conference. And at the press conference, we will bring in national media. And the national media will take a look with their journalists to actually what was going on with this municipality. And what we can promise you is that there will be a stoppage of both state and federal matching funds to our value.